come on, Why are we going through the open forest? I'm up. He sees me. I'm down. Why are we in the open? Cover me. Why are we still in the open? Cover me. I'm up. He sees me. I'm down. I'm fucking smoked. I can't shoot. Three to five second rushes. Property patrols. What is going on, grunts? Welcome back. I want to talk about an interesting topic that keeps popping up every time somebody is showing off anything on the front of their body. But I generally don't entertain silliness. In this case, I want to make sure that some of the viewers out there who may be thinking about this and like, huh, you know what? Maybe that makes sense. You can't go to the prone with a chest rig on that's a big deal I, I gotta get rid of all my chest rigs so just for the people who haven't actually done movement to contact and, and done this before we're gonna go through it we're gonna talk about some things some tactics techniques and procedures and we're gonna talk about some real-world implementation this is not to try to sell you on chest rigs and stuff if you are comfortable with uh, belts you know like the Alice belts and you like having your stuff on your belt and to your side Great, man, keep that up. Do what works for you. Besides my canteen sitting here, I've got maybe two inches sticking off of my body, okay? Now, if we're thinking about grunt stuff, doing infantry stuff, um, how big of a deal are those two inches? The argument is, well, you know, if you're in a wide open field, you have to get as low to the ground as possible. Okay, fine. If a grunt finds himself in an open field, we now call that a danger area. You know, we've got linear, circular, all this stuff. Anything that you got to get across quickly, okay? The enemy sees you now. And so for the last probably century, we've trained to get the hell out of the danger area. So if you go to the prone in a danger area, you didn't magically disappear. The bad guys saw your silhouette running. Now they see you down on the ground. So the number one principle is get the hell out of the open area. We do not run through open areas and then get down, all right? So if you happen to be patrolling through a wide open area, this goes into some of the grunt tactics. We try not to patrol through wide open areas, all right? Unless contact is like not expected at all and we're just going out there. So generally we try to box around them. It's a danger area, we try to go around them. If you absolutely have to go through that field, you're probably gonna do some bounding overwatch. You're probably gonna skirt it so you can jump into the wood line if you take fire. But let's say for the sake of argument, we're in a wedge formation, four dudes on a team, and we're crossing an open field. And all of a sudden you take fire. Yeah, you're most likely gonna jump to the prone to return some fire and kind of regroup so the team leader can tell the guys which way you're going. And yeah, I could see, you know, when rounds are snapping overhead, you know, and you're in the wide open, that sucks. But this is kind of similar to an ambush. That means you're not gonna be in the prone in that open field for a very long time. If you do, you're dead either way. Those two inches aren't going to save you. So that's the grunt tactics. Get the hell out of the open field, all right? We're not trying to lay down and hug the earth so we don't get shot. I, I mean, people are thinking about World War I days. Some people are thinking about Ukraine days, okay? Well, typically those guys aren't going in the prone into the open field. They are crossing those open farmlands to get the hell out of there, okay? If they go to the prone, it's for a very short time and then they're up and moving again and guess what in ukraine they're wearing all kinds of friggin battle gear best and everything okay but let me just run through it real quick and show you guys what it looks like all right terrain dictates our movement okay and so does the situation well, let's say we made a bad call and just decided to cross an open field or the terrain decided that and we had no choice okay so we're walking we take contact if there is any kind of cover or concealment around me anywhere close to me and the enemy is not shooting at me from that position i'm not going to the prone and most grunts don't train that way we are returning fire while running out of the freaking open field okay that's the first option because i do have a tree right here and as we know a good grunt while he's moving is always considering his next point of cover or concealment but let's say that's out we're in a wide open field all right so we're taking fire we're returning fire going to the prone 
it's an ambush so i might possibly be throwing rounds down range or i might be trying to get actual accurate shots look where my body is look where my weapon is am i hugging the ground or am i up off the ground prone unsupported position well it looks like it doesn't matter how far my gear is sticking out because my body is propped up anyway but let's keep going with the argument let's say for their sake instead of running out of the field and trying to save your life you want to hug the ground okay well i'm hugging the ground i've just got my magazines in the way and a little bit of material so we've got about an inch and a half material but i can still get my face down all right if i'm wearing a kevlar this is protected so if we're laying like this my weapon is down all right so what the hell is this going to do for my team and why am i staying this way i have been in contact with pretty accurate fire caught in the open it did happen to us a lot in the farmlands of ramadi and guys the first thing we tried to do was get the hell out of that open field oftentimes because there was shit everywhere a lot of guys just went to their knee and shot some of us went to the prone and fired but the main goal, the number one priority was to get the hell out of that open field. If somebody is doing this, they are not shooting, their gun is down, they are a liability to the team. I cannot give them commands because gunfire is loud. So I can't even give them visual commands and tell them what to do because they're not looking. They're going like this, okay? So if we start to war game this and red hat it, which is what we should do, it's a legit concern, but it's kind of a ridiculous one because you should have so many other priorities besides how close you can get to the ground. And the main priority before any of this comes from your land navigation skills. Why are you not using Oacoke or Ocock, the new thing? Observation, avenues of approach, key terrain, cover and concealment. That's your number one consideration when you're moving through terrain. Why are you in an open field to begin with? If you're assaulting an ob objective that you have to get to and you cannot go around the field, well, the infantry and all combat arms, we treat it like a danger area. You get the hell out of the danger area. It's just like if you're crossing a large road or trail and you took fire, you're not going to lay down in the prone as close as you can to the ground while people are shooting at you. You're gonna get the hell off the road. It's the same concept, it's just more distance to cover. So one more note, I'm gonna turn this way. Yeah, so I can move my magazine, it's out of the way. I can shoot my chest rig, whatever, it doesn't bother me at all. There is a point to not stack all kinds of crap up here, okay? Because as you lay down, everything here is gonna get smushed up into your face. That could affect your view and your movement, especially when you got a Kevlar on, we don't wanna have a bunch of crap up here on the back. So there are legit concerns, okay? But when I've got a couple magazines on my front and that's all I have blocking me, it's ridiculous. But now let's say we're totally flat instead of getting out of that danger area and we still want to return fire. How the hell are we gonna shoot, guys? How are we gonna get so close to the ground that that one and a half inch makes a huge difference, but we're still gonna shoot? We're gonna try to shoot like this well, that's kind of ridiculous. Now I'm just wasting more time not actually getting rounds down range. And I'm just, you know, being a, a dodo, okay, in the open field. So these are some of the tactics that I think people have picked up from watching YouTube gun tubers. And they haven't actually been in these situations. And again, I'm not picking on people, okay? Not everybody was lucky enough to get a taxpayer funded vacation and go get shot at to learn all this stuff. But generally the way we train is if you're in the open field, you have to be there. And if you take fire, if you go to the prone, it's just to lay down some lead and the team leader can coordinate what the hell your next move is, okay? So me as a team leader, we get down and return fire. I might shoot an HEDP or if I just got the rifle, I might throw a couple rounds, but I'm also assessing the situation and figuring out where the hell we're going next. Nowhere in my mind in actual fights have I ever had the idea to tell guys to start low crawling through an open field. We do not do that. It's stupid. Again, whoever's shooting at you saw you in that open field. You didn't disappear. They know where you are. 
okay? Getting up and running is a hell of a lot more effective. It's You're gonna be harder to hit, and it's gonna be a lot more effective and faster for you to get to your next point of cover or concealment. Three to five second rushes, guys. So if I wanted to pick on people, I would say maybe they're worried about going to the prone and hugging the ground because they're so out of shape, they know they can't do a three to five second rush. Because in gear and on uneven terrain and going uphill and stuff, bounding sucks. It absolutely sucks. It's one of the worst things you can ever do, okay? Especially if you're really taking fire. Now, we generally don't always do a three to five second rush. You know, sometimes it's like fuck this and guys just sprint. Fair enough, you know, it's very hard to hit a moving target without a machine gun. It is a legitimate consideration. You don't want to have Nalgene bottles and all kinds of just pogue stuff on the front of you and all up here in your face, okay? You do want to consider your profile, but I don't think about that, and most of us did not think about that for how close we could get to the ground. Most of us would try not to overload our stuff on the front just to make sure we can actually effectively fire from the prone position. So I hope this cleared some things up. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Out. Pew 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 pew. Cut me while I move. That sucks.